welcome to the Getting to Know Alexi video series brought to you by the Alexi Consortium. Today's video, Comparing Alexi and PXI, is presented by David Owen from Pickering Interfaces. I'm David Owen, I'm the <laughs> Business Development Manager for Pickering Interfaces. And both of the, the platforms have really got quite uh, attractive characteristics. With PXI, everything's standard around, standardized around the PCI bus. The whole system is PC-centric, so you've got a single central processing model, uh, a shared high-speed backplane connection. Um, the modules, very deliberately designed to be very simple. They're register-based, um, orientated around this single co controller, and um, it is a modular standard, so it's got a fixed mechanical format. It's got a shared central power supply between all these different uh, cards. It's got shared cooling. Um, it's got defined backplane connectivity for the PCI or the Express connection. And it does have a backplane trigger facility. It's not something that's very commonly used in switching, but some, some applications do use it. It's got a software free framework uh, based around Visa. Uh, it tends to be very Windows-centric. There are, there are users who uh, use Linux, but it tends to be a, a much more difficult process for them. The modules themselves, they all appear as an extension of the PC. Um, so they behave as though these devices are directly on the, P on the PC's uh, PCI bus. So it's very, very tightly coupled to the computer. Uh, so things like don't go hot plugging uh, chassis into a computer, it's very much sound advice because you wouldn't do that with your PCI cards. Uh, you don't do it with, with chassis. Um, and the standard itself has got a huge number of different modules available from uh, switching to through instrumentation, data acquisition, uh, absolutely huge number of modules available on, uh, commercially on the market. Things that um, PXI doesn't define though <coughs> is uh, things like cooling standards, um, the PXI standard does have a very sophisticated uh, uh, cooling standard, but the PXI standard's not. It's got a minimum expected uh, dissipation per slot, but it's not very explicit about uh, uh, cooling pressures and cooling volumes, for instance. It's got a fairly detailed power supply uh, uh, specification, but it doesn't define everything about the power supplies. Um, it doesn't control anything about electrical interaction between modules like radiated EMC, conducted EMC, module screening, it's, the specification is pretty silent on that. Um, it doesn't have simple ways of controlling at distance, it can be done, but it's not simple and straightforward. And do you really want to be spreading your PCI bus from your PC over, over great distances? Um, it also doesn't define vendor specific features, so indicators and this sort of thing. Ten, they're not in the standard. The Alexi system is, is a bit different. It's a distributed system, so it uh, can have many controllers, it peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, and you can get uh, connections over great distances. And one important thing about Alexi is, is really it is not a modular system. It's uh, in, in the sense of having mechanical or electrical modularity. And again, the Alexi standard has things it doesn't do, it doesn't set size constraints on product, and that's quite important for the how we position LXI yeah, switching systems. Doesn't control device cooling, and again, that can be an important issue, because switching systems can dissipate quite a lot of power under uh, some circumstances. Things like EMC, um, it's all down to the vendor. The PXI and the LXI standards are really quite different, and uh, so PXI, the focus is on this central processing model um, based on a PC, relatively simple, um, mechanically defined instruments on a, on a very high-speed bus. Um, and it's just like any card that you might, might fit into your, your desktop machine. Um, LXI is, is distributed. Boxes tend to be intelligent at the other end, and uh, they, they communicate by message-based interfaces over a reasonably fast bus, but not as fast as, uh, as PXI. And so the similarity there is probably with more with uh, GPIB than it is with thinking about cards that you put in your, your PC. So there are really quite, some quite clear areas of differences. Um, 
LXI has got this freedom of size um, and, and vendor specific conditioning, so we need different power supplies, different cooling. Um, that's, that's something we can do within a, a, an LXI defined product. But uh, PXI has got these limitations on module size. Um, lack of, the, there is a lack of intermodule uh, specifications, which can be a problem. So, um, you know, shielding it, it is relatively undefined. Um, supporting large components is, is something which uh, switching systems often have to include. And uh, the mechanical freedom of LXI is really quite a significant advantage to us. Um, PXI implementations, when you've got large components, can be extremely cumbersome, take up quite a lot of space in the chassis, which uh, is not very cost effective. And you could also have a situation where if the switching solution that's needed is pretty big, you don't fit very well into these small modules. Um, LXI, you can make a single entity, uh, control the, the switching system as a single entity. In PXI, you have really quite much smaller entities um, which have got separate uh, control uh, and have got their own interconnection overheads and uh, uh, some additional software complexity. But if you're uh, into the business of supporting lots of different functions, uh, pretty diverse functions in a in a very small envelope, um, PXI a clear, has got some very clear advantages because that's what it's designed to do. It's designed for this sort of high diversity but not too big um, building blocks. And control at a distance, we found LXI has got some really key advantages uh, in some applications where users need to control switching systems at a distance. PXI and LXI for us are complementary. Um, LXI generally we use for making bigger versions with higher performance levels uh, than, than in PXI and generally with a rather lower um, cost to them because uh, the infrastructure costs are much lower on, on large systems. Um, and both of the, the platforms have really got quite uh, attractive characteristics and hybrid systems will probably rule. Um, not just um, PXI and LXI, but maybe VXI and GPIB instruments for, for many years to come. Okay, thank you.